Shiny, mysterious, magical. <sighs> Boring? Shut up again, everyone. Martina here. Last time we tried turning some of our epoxy trash into a potion. And I think it turned out pretty cool, don't get me wrong. But it's also very plain. So I've been looking at a lot of concept art of potions lately just to kind of get some inspiration and find some ways to improve on my design. So we still have a lot of walnut left over from the staff and we also have a lot of epoxy waste. So why not combine the forces of trash and wood to create something beautiful? All right, let's not waste more time. All right, so we have three main issues we have to fix this time. First of all, we need a more opaque liquid. Secondly, we need a more visible glass bottle. And third, I want to make it super shiny. If we have a look at this, you can see that it's kind of hard to see like where the liquid begins and where the glass bottle is. And I think one of the reasons for that is because of the very light liquid. So to fix the first problem, I'm gonna use this sphere right here. I know it kind of looks black, but it's really a deep red. And I think once we remove some mass, make it thinner, the color will come out and it will really look like a health potion. <laughs> I just had to get some air. So the thing is that now after I've sanded this down, I can see the true color. And first it looked like a very deep, beautiful red, but now it just looks brown. Ugly, ugly, ugly brown. <laughs> It's basically unusable, <laughs> so that's great. I'm gonna have to do this over again because I, I, I can't justify spending more time on this because it's really ugly. <laughs> Hello. There's the mailman. I'm gonna go inside, <laughs> okay? Because <laughs> I'm awkward like that. My battle plan now is really to use this blob instead. At least that is guaranteed to have a beautiful color. I don't want to do this much sanding again. What I think to do, because this already has like a flat surface, is just to bring it out to the bandsaw and take off all the corners so we get like a square piece and then take that down to almost this shape but with uh, straight corners, if that makes sense. Just gonna drink my coffee first. Energize! <laughs> So because our problem now is that this is a little bit too light, I thought, what if we use this aluminum base, which is basically just a paint with very, very small glitter particles in it, and combine it with a little bit of purple, mix together with some epoxy glue, and then paint that as a very thin layer on the outside. Oh, that's pretty. It's glittery. Okay, I think that looks really cool. Ah, okay, let's do it to the rest. All right, ah, it's been a couple of days, so the epoxy is completely hard. It's warped a little bit because I think I poured a little bit too a thick layer. <laughs> yeah, well, I think it's gonna be good. So on the previous video, I got some tips both from our patrons and a lot of comments about easier ways to release the mold. One of those comments was to use packaging tape. So I have in fact put packaging tape on the inside. It should be a lot easier to release this time than it was last time when I had to cut it off with a saw. <laughs> mm. 
I was planning to actually use double-sided tape to tape these sides together, but I didn't have any on hand, so I just had to use hot glue. Oh, oh, it's already coming off. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, this is the way. What the hell? I mean, seriously? Oh my god. Get off. I want to show you this. Holy freak. Oh man. Yes! <laughs> this is what we wanted! <laughs> it's completely separate. What a lifesaver. Yeah, it's um, something happened here. God knows what. <laughs> oh man! Let's draw the lines on this and be as precise as possible and bring it to the bandsaw. Problem one, check. Problem two, check. Now problem three was making the surface more shiny. So the way I want to solve this shiny issue while at the same time saving time not sanding is we can put it like this. I was thinking I could just like paint a layer of epoxy on top of the potion. 50. Please work. Woo! Here we go. Oh, I can't wait till this thing is dry. Oh. So that epoxy has to dry for a couple of days because it's a very thin layer. And I thought that in the meantime, I could start working on a wooden stand for the potion because I kind of want to do something more with this one. And I thought, why not make a wooden potion? I have tons of walnut left over. Okay, back up. Yeah, I haven't seen the sun in a couple of months and I, I'm not used to it. <laughs> I know that this doesn't really look like a stand just yet, but bear with me, this is just a rough shape. So I'm planning to like be able to put the potion in from the top and be able to take it out whenever I want. So it's not gonna be like a static thing, but something I can just leave the potion in. Obviously it's a stand, you understand. You're... This is kind of boring, obviously. I wanna do some more detailing and maybe even put in a couple of LEDs. I think before we get to that point, I have to hollow this out because I have to make some space for the actual potion. I think that's what I'm gonna do first. Just hollow this out, make space for the potion, and then we can move on to detailing with the Dremel and putting in some LEDs.
let me reveal the potion. The thing is, <laughs> this is the point where I'm supposed to be super excited, but, but <laughs> we have problems, we have issues. <laughs> it looks very great from far away. And then you get up close and you can see that there are tons of like lines and little dripple dripples from the epoxy. And it's very clear some places and other places it's very rough. And it bugs me, it bugs me big time. And I, I, I have to do something about it. Can't live with these lines on the potion. They just, I might as well spend some hours sanding this thing. Even if I can't get it this glass clear, at least the surface will be perfectly smooth and you can see some weird lines. <sighs> okay, sanding time. Can you hear the TV upstairs? It's being really loud. Anyway, so last week we published this update video where we just kind of explained where the channel is going in the future. And I just wanted to say that the response to that video was so much more than I ever expected. It was so cool to see how positive you guys are about the channel and the stuff we make. And the amount of people who actually joined in on our Patreon and YouTube members was just crazy. You guys enable us to continue doing this. And I'm excited about creating all the things all the nerdy stuff in the future. Anyway, let's have a look at the result of this project. Okay, so old potion and new potion. I mean, do I need to say more? I'm so happy about this one. I still like this, don't get me wrong, but you can stand here and watch your friend as we put it in its stand. Okay, lights in now. Oh my god, it's beautiful! I love it! I can't wait to put you in my shelf! 1.0, 2.0. <sighs> Worth it. Mm -hmm. 